Woo! Let's go. Damn, that wobbled. Boy, take a quick break. We'll get second inning. What about my pitch calling is so confusing? There's nothing confusing about it. I always want like other people's opinions on like what they're thinking when they're calling it and like why you chose to do that. Yeah, I just do it based off purely like what I see in my head. You know what I mean? Like if I'm sitting here talking to you and we're like, it's a lefty, blah, blah, blah. For some reason, whenever I get the scenario, yeah. I flash back to maybe, you know, a scenario that I experienced or whatever in my head. And then I think like, oh, how many times did I feel success after calling this such and such pitch and this such and such count? So it has nothing to do with like the individual pitching? Person. Uh, I mean, it has to do with the person too, absolutely. But I just mean like the raw basics of it, like what has success, what doesn't yeah. kind of thing. Like off, what's, what's off speed counts, basketball today? counts, stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah, 100%. So I would say like 95 of the catchers that catch me, they go off of uh, like the, the book. What is the book? Like oh, if you're at a casino, right? Does the book say hit or stay? Mm -hmm. And it's basically like that with pitch calling. Whereas like I feel with the stuff that I have, especially as a starter, it's not like good enough to give in on a 1-0 or a 2-1 pitch. So that's why I usually gravitate to something that to a righty cuts away from them that usually in bigger counts, right? They want to get bigger. And then a lefty, something that fades away from them for the same reason. Mm -hmm. Maybe get away with that once but you're gonna have to mix it up the second time. No, no, that's, but that's what I'm saying is like, I think it gives me room for air because if a hitter steps in knowing like, oh, I can't really sit cheddar cheese freaking 2-0, right? I'm gonna sit this, then I can maybe just groove one, get away with it. But I guess there's a flip side of that too. I, there's just nothing more that I like than falling behind 1-0 and going to something with a little wrinkle and it's a 6-3 or a 4-3, something like that. I would say it takes away like my confidence on a behind in the count fastball too. Whereas like when I when I had velo, it was kind of just like, all right, whatever, let's go, challenge. And I feel as a starter, it's like, I don't know if it's because of the stuff itself or my mind tricks me into thinking that I have to get a little bit fancier to have the same results because my stuff is down. I don't have complete control of the heater behind in the counts. Now, for some reason when I'm ahead, right, like that fastball up and in, it's like I feel like I could put it where I want because I have leeway. But behind in the count, there's always that, like, even if it's a subconscious idea in the back of your mind, that's like if you freaking groove this, Johnny, this entire ball game is now different. That's because that's happened to you. It's happened too many times. I put a lot of uh, attention into, like, how I got to certain counts. Like, I'll walk through it in my head this next series, but I... I think about like the hitters what making a decision halfway some hitters probably like 10 feet out of the hand if I do my job and have everything looking similar out of the hand or at least you know body language wise looking similar then I can get away with things that hit the heart of the plate if it has movement but like if I go oh oh cutter and then I can throw a fastball off that cutter that just gets them off the barrel even if it is 1-0 and then after that throw the change up that's going hopefully in a different direction I always think that the hitter thinks now that he has to respect three different pitches that he's already seen in the first three pitches of the at-bat. And I think sometimes hitters recognize that and it gets them away from their approach, you know? At least that's what I found. Now that's all thrown away like the Jacob deGroms of the world that could just be like, all right, fastball away, slider away. The stuff's that good. I've realized that my stuff isn't that good. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. All right, second set. All right, let's do it. Say uh, lead off double, first pitch, guy on second, no outs. Let's work out of the jam. All right, another lefty. Uh-oh. No, no, yeah. I was gonna go with that first. <laughs> Thought all that talk about fastball. One up. So this is a, a good example. Again, I'm not a hitter, but from what I've seen, first pitch change up, the guy's sit, sitting there thinking, knowing me, he's not gonna throw the fastball, probably double up the change up, I would go cutter. So it'll get something going in on the hands. So it'll look like a, a heater out of the hand cuts in on him. Yeah. But every hitter's different. I could totally like, that's what's so frustrating about the game is I like to think, and sometimes I think I get it right and I get it completely wrong. One, one. No, but good idea. I want something similar to that. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, bring it in, kid. So first pitch change up, tunnel out of the hand as that slider. Same kind of vicinity, right? Like up and away. So you throw something, in my opinion, that comes back in. So he's given up on it right out of the hand because he's only familiar with what he saw this at bat. So what, like a backdoor bender? On this pitch? Yeah. See, on this pitch, I would just go fastball up and shade arm side. Because I'm trying to get the punchy with the guy on second, you know? Kind of defeats the purpose, because if he gets him over, that's like kind of buying him out, you know? Go with that fastball. Yeah, so one, two, fastball a little elevated away. Shaded away, like more so middle, but sh shade. Fastball, lock back in. Here we go. 
And typically you get guys with guys in scoring position, they want to be the hero. So if you throw something that, in my opinion, is a ball, probably going to be a little anxious and go. He's going to try to force either contact or try to foul it off. Yeah. Say he just took it, ball, 2-2. Two, two. No. You want to go like here? No. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> Nice. More so than what? Why? I don't know. I just I see it. Maybe I've seen so many in my life. Cutters? I can see the Because that's what I always worry about with this grip is that it looks totally different out of the hand. All right, one out. Righty. So he's looking to be the hero off a pretty good at bat hangover effect. I'd go fastball in, beat him. Do what? All right. <coughs> one out. No, but good idea. I want to save that for later. I get you. Want to go here? No. Here? No. Yeah. <laughs> you got to get that call. 1-1. One, one. Yeah, that boy. <laughs> Frick. These are the situations where I, I F myself. You should, you should always go back. Your strength. Your strength is here. 2-1 heater in? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Let's do it. <clears throat> yeah. That's probably the RBI knock right there. Well, that's what we were talking about the other day is like simulated sequencing, man. <sighs> Baseball gods love me. Yeah. We get into regular season. <laughs> oh, hellfire. Everything goes wrong. All right. Fire yeah. Over. Yeah, we got some napalm. 2-2. Two -two. What are you thinking? I'd go with your Vulcan. I, I was gonna go slider. If you wanna go slider, that works too. Yeah. Away? Yeah, slide P. <laughs> Fastball up and in, ball 0-0. 1-0, we threw again arm side, cutter, cut back in, 1-1. One, one. And then basically everything was kind of middle shaded arm side. So you throw something middle that goes glove side, it's a different look than somewhat all the other pitches. Agreed. It all depends on how you react. Yeah, and see, that's where I go wrong a lot of times because I go off of like the constant changing of looks that sometimes I lose sight on like, man, he didn't do good with that one change up. He looked like, you know, he didn't like it and I don't go back to it. So I'm constantly trying to mix. Two outs, righty, seven hole. Yeah, boy. <clears throat> Top of the zone, Rap Soto, give me something. Yeah, that's not even close. Frick, one up. I can't get ahead of anyone. Not giving in to this guy. No, no, yeah. <clears throat> one more. Yeah. <clears throat> one, two. I mean, everything's arm side, right? Yeah. So is that the time where we open up glove side? You have to. It doesn't have to be a strike. Yeah, fastball away? Mm -hmm. I give up a lot of hits on just a glove side fastball. Gotta get it out there. Yeah, but then it's like, what is it? You know, it doesn't really do much for me. I feel like it does. You get that call on the corner. Yeah. The only way I like that's a successful pitch for me, in my opinion, is on the fastball in. He was like, huh. So he has no idea. He has no plate recognition, right? He doesn't know what the corners are. So I can throw that one, nip the black, and he that's probably what thinks happened, it's. Though. Didn't you start first pitch fastball in? No, uh, first pitch curveball. Oh yeah, yeah. And then we went 1-0 fastball in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. Fouled it off, still one, two. I was thinking slider off that fastball before yeah. that. <clears throat> nice action. Two, two, action count. Probably thinking that heater in's coming, right? I'd go chain, Volk. Yeah, I was thinking I'd go, go Volk, yeah. two, two. Yeah. <clears throat> You should get like one do-over card, you know, in, in the game. Like a coach gets a challenge in basketball now, do my do-over card. Do that over, change up. Okay. <clears throat> I'd go back to that shaded arm side cutter. Thinks it's that same fastball in, cuts over the plate. Run it. <clears throat> yeah, but I think it's starting to blend with that slider. Yeah. The depth. All right, last heater, I'm good. <clears throat> Thank you, Richie. <clears throat> 